much. Good evening, I'm Sharice Gibson. Karen is working remotely tonight, where we're going to get to the flooding across parts of the North Shore in just a minute. But we begin tonight with a David Hammer investigation. The severe weather last night caused street flooding and damaged vehicles in New Orleans, and the Sewage and Water Board blames lightning for knocked out power to three major drainage pumps in Broadmoor. Well, David is part of our Down the Drain team that's been investigating the city's drainage problems for years and has this report. At 12.35 Friday morning, rain, wind, and lightning strikes were battering Broadmoor when the power went out. Less than an hour later, WWL photojournalist Steve Wolfram was out on that same street, trudging through thigh-high flood waters. At 2 a.m., Wolfram found his neighbor, Artie Dennis, trying to clear the only drain in the area that works. Is it trash that was holding it up, or was it not pumping? It wasn't pumping. The power outage came, and then the streets started flooding. Further down the block, former body shop owner Willie Jefferson woke up Friday to find water in one of the cars he's repairing. Right now, maybe it helped a few gallons inside there. I gotta get out. One of the city's main pumping stations sits less than four blocks away, and a brand new underground drainage culvert is even closer forming part of the half-billion-dollar SELA drainage superhighway system completed just last year. But Dennis said it isn't getting any better in Broadmoor. If they knew it was going to rain yesterday, they knew it was going to flood, why the pumps wasn't working. After our down-the-drain investigation in 2017, the Sewerage and Water Board spent more than $100 million on emergency repairs and backup power for the pumps. Last month, the board reported all 99 drainage pumps were available. So why don't they keep working when the power from Entergy goes out? Well, I like for them to keep the pumps on because that seemed to be the problem. As soon as it seemed like the pump comes on, they suck it right out. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Well, Sewage and Water Board spokesman Courtney Barnes said lightning knocked out energy power, feeding two pumps, and lightning also struck the board's own power equipment and disabled a third pump. Barnes also said backup power was limited because a turbine that exploded in December is still being repaired.